Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the House of European Football here in Neon, Switzerland, for the UEFA Europa League quarterfinal and semifinal draws. This year's quarterfinal lineup is set after two thrilling weeks of round of 16 action. We start our recap in Leverkusen, where two goals from Patrick Schick in stoppage time broke the hearts of Karabakh to send the Bundesliga leaders into the next round. The 1988 winners are joined by another former champion, Liverpool. The three-time title holders are through after two convincing wins against Sparta Praha. There are six clubs looking to get their hands on the Europa League trophy for the very first time, including three teams from Italy, with Atalanta defeating Sporting, Milan cruising past Slavia Praha, and Roma eliminating. Brighton. Benfica's win at Ibrox saw them through to today's draw, as well as Marseille, who came out on top of a high-scoring affair with Villarreal. And a rematch from the group stage saw West Ham United reign supreme against Freiburg. We certainly have plenty to look forward to in the business end of the competition, as all eyes are on this year's final in Dublin on the 22nd of May. Let's take a closer look at the remaining eight teams. The road to Dublin continues and the countdown is on. Now, to lead today's draw ceremony, please welcome on stage UEFA Deputy General Secretary Giorgio Marchetti. Welcome, Giorgio. Thank you, Pedro. Great to see you. Good afternoon, uh, ladies and gentlemen. The magic of the Europa League was on full display in the round of 16, taking our breath away until the final whistle as some of the best European teams fought hard to keep their European season afloat. The stage is now set for mouth-watering encounters that will no doubt showcase the essence of European football at its finest. This season marks at the end of the group stage format era, as next season the Europa League evolves to a league phase format, which will add an extra spice of excitement and a layer of unpredictability. Congratulations and good luck to the final eight. We look forward to seeing you in action in the coming weeks. It is now my pleasure to welcome today's special guest who knows a thing or two about winning this competition. And here he is, today's special guest for the draw, Fernando Llorente.
Welcome, bienvenido. I'll let you Thank say you hi to Giorgio as well. Thank you very much. Um, Fernando, you know all about UEFA club competitions, over 80 matches. In the Europa League, you played two finals, one with Athletic Bilbao, one with Sevilla, with different results. But when you look at your career in this competition, what, what, what highlights would you point out? Well, it's uh, a competition that I love because I play too many games. I enjoy a lot in this competition uh, when I start playing in Atleti Bilbao. Mm -hmm. uh, in 2012, uh, we did really good. We were the sensation. The, we surprised all Europe in that moment when we beat Man Manchester United in, mm -hmm. in Old Trafford. And finally, we reached the, the final. Uh, in that moment, we lose against Atletico Madrid, but it was an amazing, an amazing career to the, to, the, to the final, the way we, we, get, we reached the final. And, and then uh, I have the opportunity with, with Sevilla to, to win that competition and, and was lovely, uh, beautiful. Of course. Uh, I'm sure you've been keeping a close eye on the matches in the competition and uh, over the last couple of weeks and the round of 16. Who, who have you been impressed by? Who's impressed you the most? I think Liverpool, no? He's, he's, he's playing really, really good and uh, he beat really easy. And uh, I think he's the, the big favorite. And, and when you look at a former colleague of yours from the Spanish national team as well, Xabi Alonso, he's having a, a, a great season at Leverkusen and a dramatic night last night against Karabakh. Yeah, they, they are playing as, as well really good, no? They are first in, in Bundesliga. Uh, I think uh, they are 37 games without to lose. I am very happy for him because He's uh, an amazing guy and he's doing really good uh, like a manager and uh, I hope he, he, he wins this competition. All right, well, we'll have to wait and see about that. You're going to help Giorgio out with the draw. I'll hand the floor back over to you, Giorgio. Thank you. And uh, just for a quick reminder of the technical procedure, this is a, an open draw, completely open, no country protection and no seeding and no special conditions either. The eight balls containing the names of the quarter finalists are all placed in this large bowl and the pairings will simply be determined by drawing a first team against another team. The first team drawn will play the first leg at home. The calendar of the quarters and the semi-final matches will be communicated later this afternoon. Everything is ready. Just let's take a look at these uh, eight great teams, uh, starting with Atalanta, Bayer, Leverkusen, uh, Benfica, Liverpool, FC, AC Milan, Olympique de Marseille, AS Roma, and West Ham United FC. This is all. Uh, Fernando, are you ready? Yes. If you are ready, I will give you the all clear and uh, we go okay. with the draw of the quarterfinals. First team drawn, quarterfinal one. AC Milan. We go immediately with Milan, last semi-final for Milan in this competition, 2002. It's a 24th appearance in a quarter-final of a UEFA competition for Milan, but this trophy is still missing in their uh, cabinet. Uh, I'm sure that they will do everything they can uh, to reach the final and possibly to lift the trophy. But now let's see first uh, who they will be opposed to in this quarter-final. We'll see. Yes, Roma. So a team that know very well playing in the same league in the Serie A. It will be an Italian derby, Milan versus Roma, who were the finalists last year in Budapest. And uh, it's, uh, they played uh, eight times with this one in the quarterfinals of the, this competition. So okay. let's go ahead. The first, the first match is an Italian match between Milan and Roma. Liverpool. And here FC. we go, <coughs> Liverpool FC, three-time winners, leaders in the, uh, in the Premier League. And uh, Jurgen Klopp told, took the club uh, to the final in the first season. He will possibly try to play the final also in his last hey. season at the club. So it's, it will be very interesting. Let's see first who they will have to face in the quarterfinals. Atalanta. 
and they will face Atalanta. So Liverpool versus Atalanta, tough challenge for both clubs, of course. Three times in the quarterfinals for Atalanta. And uh, they reached the uh, quarterfinals in the last appearance they had in 2022. We're ready to go ahead uh, with uh, quarterfinal number three. Bayer Leverkusen. Uh, we have now Bayer Leverkusen, uh, Bayer Leverkusen, uh, uh, the winners of 1988. Uh, we are um, ready to see who they will play against in uh, this quarterfinal three. Uh, Bayer Leverkusen have, are having a great season. Every, we know how stunning it was their, their comeback yesterday in the last 15 minutes against Karabakh from 2 nil down. Was Ham United? And uh, Leverkusen will face this time uh, West Ham United. So West Ham United, the winners of the Conference League last year, uh, playing in the Europa League thanks to, the, uh, to this trophy. And uh, we are ready, almost finished, uh, quarter-final four. We start with... Uh, yes, El Benfica. With Benfica. So Benfica, three times finalists. Benfica. They will be the home team in the first leg of the quarter-final four. And just we need to check that there are opponents that we all expect uh, is also the name that we will see in the bowl, out of the bowl. And that will be... Olympique Marseille. Olympique de Marseille. So Benfica versus Olympique de Marseille, also three, three times in the final of the competition for Marseille. This is all for the, uh, these four great uh, quarterfinals. We know the lineup. Uh, we need uh, to find out who will play against uh, who in the semifinals. Uh, this is uh, another simple integral draw among the four teams, uh, which will qualify from the quarterfinals. They are all indicated as winners of a quarterfinal from one to four. Again, the first team drawn will play the first leg of the semifinals at home. I just shuffle the balls. Fernando, please. Let's start with the first team of semi-final one. Winners of quarter-final four. Winners of uh, quarter-final four. That means uh, Benfica or Olympique de Marseille. They will be playing the first leg of the semi-final at home. Now their opponents uh, will be the winners of this semi-final, quarter-final, sorry. Winner of quarter-final two. Quarter-final two, so Benfica or Marseille playing against Liverpool or Atalanta. Now we know also, of course, uh, what's the other semi-final, but uh, we don't know who will play the first leg at home. Winner of quarter-final one. Quarter-final one is uh, Milan or Roma playing at home against, uh, no problems, against the team, uh, the winner of uh, this last ball. So Milan or Roma facing... Winner of quarter-final three. By Leverkusen or... West Ham United. So this is, these are the two semi-finals. This is also their order. And uh, we have to determine by draw also which team is to be considered as the home uh, uh, team in the final, the winners of semi-final one or the winners of semi-final two. It's purely for protocol and operational reasons. Uh, and we will treat, obviously, the two teams equally at the final in uh, Dublin. So please, uh, Fernando, you can choose one of the two balls. Uh, and. Uh, we will determine uh, which team will be named first in the final. Winner of semi-final one. So, one between Benfica, Olympique de Marseille, Liverpool and Atalanta will be named first, uh, first team of the final against, uh, obviously, the winners of the other semi-final. Winner of semi-final two. Milan or Roma or Bayer Leverkusen or West Ham United. And that's all what we need to know from now until Dublin. 
Well done, gentlemen. We've got the results of the quarterfinals and semifinals leading up to the final in Dublin. Uh, let's take a look at the results. We've got AC Milan taking on AS Roma in an all Italian clash. It'll be Liverpool versus Atalanta. Bayer Leverkusen facing West Ham United. And Sport Lisboa Benfica taking on Olympique de Marseille. Depending on who goes through to the final four, we'll have Benfica or Marseille taking on Liverpool or Atalanta. And it'll be Milan or Roma taking on Leverkusen or West Ham. That'll lead up to the final on the 22nd of May. It's time to mark your calendars as we talk about dates. You know about the final. I can tell you about the next round. April 11th is the first leg of the quarterfinals with the return on the 18th. The semifinals will then take place on the 2nd and 9th of May with the final on the 22nd, as I told you earlier. That'll do it from all of us here at the House of European Football in Nyon, Switzerland. Thank you so much, Fernando, for helping us with the draw and, of course, to Giorgio as well for leading proceedings as always. See you soon. Take care. All the best.